Ugh, scary. Almost beautiful. Hello, I am back again after a long hiatus, and by long I mean less than seven days. In any case, I have returned, and today I would like to talk to you about something completely different, and by completely different, I mean exactly the same. But before we get started, I would like to deal with my background. I'm, I'm backwards to me, not to you. Well, maybe I'm backwards to you. Um, my background, it does seem rather desolate, so let's see what we can do to animate it a wee bit, shall we? That is far better. This is a picture that my friend painted of me if I were a hedgehog. Didn't you always want to know that? Today I would like to talk to you about cerebral palsy in a bit more detail. Not too much, of course, because it is a rather hefty subject. But today I would like to specifically talk about some of the common misconceptions that one may have about CP or indeed about physical disability in general. So, let's go. The first and most abundant misconception that I find present in society is that people think if you have a physical disability, you also have a mental disability to go along with it. And I can tell you 100% that this is not always the case. Even though sometimes I question, and I do believe others question, my mental stability is not true. And if you are somebody who still believes that this is the case, then you yourself have a little bit of mental retardation. <laughs> the irony. Another common misconception is that people with cerebral palsy cannot feel their legs. This is only if I've been drinking or if I'm feeling lazy. The next misconception is that cerebral palsy is communicative. Now, this one is true. My brain damage is contagious, as is my homosexuality, so I would stay away from people with cerebral palsy. I definitely wouldn't let them sneeze on you because bodily fluids is one of the strongest forms of transmission. So be careful. Next one. People with cerebral palsy are or should be asexual. I can tell you right now that I am horny as and I will sexually harass the crap out of you. You'll have to ask me to stop. Unless you're ugly, in which case, I am asexual. Another common misconception is that every person with cerebral palsy is courageous and inspirational. I'm not a Paralympian. In a similar vein, some people may think that people with CP are uneducable. This just isn't true. I have a degree, I wrote a first class honours dissertation, I don't have a job, I live at home. Talk about inspiration. People may also think that anybody with a physical disability is unable to have a relationship. Once again, this is completely untrue. I have had many an unhappy, dysfunctional, unfulfilling relationship as any able-bodied person. Thank you very much. And one of the last misconceptions that people may have about those with CP is that their life is a devastating personal tragedy. Let me tell you, my disability is one of the least tragic things about my life. So there you have it, a selection of the most common myths and misconceptions about CP and physical disability. Hopefully this video has elucidated the issue for you. And as always, you can leave me a message, a comment, or even get in touch via Twitter. I will leave my ID in the description box.